The Malian presidency announced on Tuesday, April 16, that Niger is preparing to supply 150 million liters of diesel to Mali to fuel the country's power stations, which are pledged by recurrent blackouts. The Malian presidency said in a statement that Colonel Asimi Guita met Niger's own minister, Mahaman Mustafa Barke, on Tuesday to finalize the partnership agreement for the sale of 150 million liters of diesel to Mali. These falls are intended for Energy du Mali to support the various power plants of the country, Barke was quoted as saying in a press release. Burdened by the debt of more than 200 billion francs CFA, Mali's national energy company is no longer able to provide electricity to the capital and other cities in the country. The deterioration in the power supply is causing widespread anger among the almost 11 million Malians who have access to electricity. This represents half of the population of a country that has been ruled by an authority since a coup d'etat in 2020 and where a large part of the territory has been devastated by the expansion of armed groups, particularly jihadists. In February, Niger announced the signing of a memorandum of understanding to supply diesel to Burkina Faso, Mali and Chad, three of the world's poorest countries ruled by military regimes. The first three countries announced a withdrawal from the economic community of West African states in February, forming the Alliance of Sahel States. In November, Niger's authorities inaugurated a giant pipeline to transport oil from the Agadem field and neighboring Benin by China National Petroleum Corporation, a Chinese state-owned oil company. Niger's authorities announced on April 13 that they had received a loan of $400 million from their Chinese partner as an advance on the forthcoming sale of crude oil which will be on the markets for May. The country's intention is to increase its oil production to 110,000 barrels per day, of which 90,000 barrels will be for export.